Keep me out yeah, to yeah. meet you. As as I Welcome to Washington, D.C. Thank you, man. I have a after brethren who are here, but more importantly, I'm here in my role as mornings on 97.1, and I host afternoons across our country on iHeartRadio. But I wanted to Amazing. start this oh. chat by bringing y'all something. You rolling? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're rolling. All right, first of all, oh, I don't know who likes red <laughs> 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 and who likes white. Oh, but this is a bottle of red. Look at that. And this is a bottle of white. Now, do you know why I brought these specific ones? Why, why did you Because they're from the SAG Awards this year. I figured we'd get started early because y'all about to take Best Ensemble cast. And we're gonna go oh, is that right? <laughs> oh, well, no. I'm serious. We're going to wish that. We're going to will that into reality right now. Put it out now. there, man. Put because out everything there. you guys have done in this movie is I, a reminder to, I think, all of us. Have, 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 have a seat, yes. It's a reminder of why we go to the movies in the first place. And for two and a half years, I don't know how it was for you guys, but I know for me, as someone who likes going to the movies, who likes to talk for a living, almost said another word, um, but I've been up since two in the morning, uh, it was tough. It was tough to cope. And literally in five minutes, two weeks ago when I got to see this movie, you took me back to a place I haven't been in over 20 years as a kid. And everything felt yeah. okay again. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. when, when you guys say that, I heard somebody say this is a, a, a cinematic love letter to filmmaking. No, it's more than that. It's a love letter to the resiliency of the human condition. And you both are a part of it, so congratulations. Best ensemble, ensemble cast and then some. This is gonna be probably the movie of the decade. Wow. And probably, <laughs> Probably the movie of, of a lifetime that a new generation is going to talk about for years to come. A generation shaped by news today, that's pretty heavy. Other news, the news that's outside in this plaza, and you guys helped us to realize there's a way forward. So thank you. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank I mean, I, I wish you were with us on this entire press tour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I wish you were answering <laughs> questions for us. But, but, but honestly, that's that passion is how that was the mark that we hoped we would hit at the yeah. beginning of this journey. And I think that's the thing that has been really special for us, is at the beginning of this journey, we knew that we were trying to do something, that mark, we all love Top Gun, right? Yeah. Who doesn't love Top Gun? It's like right. this incredible movie. But the hard part is, is that to hit the bullet with the bullet that we hit, and sure. to have it be emotional, and to actually say something, and right. to be a love letter to the men and women in uniform, to be a love letter to aviation, to filmmaking, right. to pushing boundaries, right. for, to to because you never see movies of this size also be emotional right and actually have something to say sure and you get to the end of this movie and this movie is not loaded by the commercialism of IP like every yeah. other movie like sure. this movie is made with heart and we put our hearts and our stomachs on the line yes. to make <laughs> this movie and, and, and to, to have that reaction that means a lot no and I, and I want to get to that in, in just a quick second but the thing that I think is so important and it did not intend to go here but there's another narrative in this movie. If you've never heard of Top Gun or Tom Cruise or that first movie made back in the day, this is a reason why you need to go see this movie, I think. And you can tell me as people who brought these great characters to life uh, what you think about this. There's another narrative in this movie that I think is so important this morning, today, after the last 24 hours in our society and life. And that's the idea that different people, men and women from different walks of life, different age groups, different generations, can come together, put aside some things, mm -hmm. can get rid of this, this, this selfish perspective, this egotistical perspective, these demons from the past that you won't let go of, these sexual tension issues that might happen when you're a recruit in the military. You can put all that aside, come together and fix a problem. Mm -hmm. And that is the, the team building human nature of this movie is I think what really gives it its heartbeat. And it's only possible because of great actors who bring the story to life. When did you guys realize, and it might have been in the casting process, that you were reading and auditioning for something that was going to be this monumental? Honestly, you don't know that. Like a lot of films, they make, they make movies and they don't know it's gonna be iconic until after you see it. And then right. years later when everybody loves it, that's when you're like, wow, we made an iconic thing. Now we didn't know or we did know we were making, we could make something iconic because we knew everybody loved the first one. Mm -hmm. So is if we messed up, then we right. gonna get a lot of people for it. Right. But if we do it right, then we are making something very iconic. And I think we we took huge leaps of representation with you know people like myself, and mm -hmm. you have Dan, and you have Monica right. in, the, in these positions. And like you said, we've all come together to make 
I mean, in the in the film to complete this mission, but also to make this film. And sure. when other people look at it, they can sit there and say like, "Wow, that is me." Right. You know, I, I resonate with that character. I resonate with that character. And I think that would, you know, bring people together. And when you're making film, you want to inspire. You want to, you know, elicit some type of emotion. And when you leave out the theater, you want you want people to be like, "Wow, like that moved me." Right. I want to be in the military. Right. Oh, I want to be a filmmaker. Right. Or I want to say like. I was glad to see myself right. on screen. It, it's a motivational thing, so it's an honor to be a part of that. Did we know we were doing it? There had to be a moment when you and an, as an actor, I mean, listen, by the way, Mr. New Top Gun over here, we, I'm aware that you're the young gun in Hollywood. Congratulations on your new representation, and they're throwing David Yerman at you to wear at award show. <laughs> I mean, come on, now. some of us have to work our butts off and pay with a firm six months same, over time, same as cash. Um, they just give it to you. Um, <laughs> but there had to I be. I like that call sign. There, there, yeah, you're new. You're new. That's Yerman. Call, <laughs> Yerman. call sign Yerman. Move over there. Call <laughs> sign. Nah, nah, nah. Um, but there had to be a moment for both of you when you knew at that moment. You're like, maybe it was in the cockpit when you're directing yourself, filming yourself, about to lose your lunch, wishing you were back in a classroom in New Orleans. Or, or you know, uh, when did that moment happen? Do you remember that that? Second. One more thing. It was it was when we were invited to the uh, air boss's house for a dinner, and they had all the uh, Navy family members and actually naval naval pilots there, um, and just speaking to these people, and they're saying how much the first Top Gun impacted their lives, sure. and it, it really put into perspective of what we were doing. Like, oh wow, we're we're basically bringing their childhood to present day, yeah. and now we're creating, and we're also looking to create a new generation of new Top Gun lovers. Right. So I think for me, that's when it said, and I was like, yo, we're making something big, and I kind of felt the pressure for the first time, I'm like, who? Right. Being sweat, I got to excuse yeah. myself. Yeah, yeah, I was like, hold up. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it was, it was nonstop. Like, yeah. literally, we were like, working the room, it was like, you know, and then you'll walk, turn around, Hey, how you doing? Love Top Gun. Glad you're doing it. And it was like, oh, thank you. And it's like, okay, wait, I need a break because the pressure was coming on, but it was a great feeling to know we're making something that people really care about. Right. Well, the heads of the Navy, these people joined the Navy because of Top Gun. Mm -hmm. right. So you realize the people that are protecting us, that are ensuring our defense, right. were inspired by the original movie. Sure. That's a pretty surreal thing right. to be like, hey, this is why. I'm in the Navy and this is why I've dedicated my life to this and you're about to be on that ride. Right. You're about to be a part of that legacy. You're about to inspire a whole other generation of aviators and, and men and women in uniform and that's a it's a big it's a big um, responsibility. No, responsibility. There's no pressure, you know? So how do you as as kindred in the industry look at a guy like Tom who really doesn't have very much to prove anymore, I guess. I mean, but I think you always have something to prove. Yeah. Um, because you're always one bad film away from being, you know, on Netflix for the rest of your life. <laughs> Maybe Hulu. But, you know, <laughs> when do you realize, no offense to either one of them, Disney in the house. But uh, I see y'all. Netflix too, I know. Love you. But I'm just talking to myself in all kinds of corners today. <laughs> but to that, to that point, though, it's, um, it's always about the story. And it's always about someone like Tom who can come in and command certain things. Mm -hmm. It changes the atmosphere in the room. Some people say, like in football, that it's like playing offensive line, knowing if you blow a block, you're gonna, you know, cause Peyton Manning to go down, or one of the greats, or sure. you know, it could be anybody. Tom Brady. I'm not about to let that happen, even though I'm not a Patriots fan. The Bucks are cool, but what's that like when you're in that moment? Tom is a guy who inspires everyone around him to be at their best, to, to do stuff that they didn't even think was possible. And I think that's an inspiring thing. They always say, like, it's an old adage in Hollywood, like, it always starts from the top of the call sheet. Sure. But Tom is like, he's, he, he's not just an actor saying the lines. He is, he is, it is a team sport for him. Right. And he is, he is coaching. And because he doesn't take a nap, because he doesn't get tired, because he demands perfection, and he says, I know you can do more, I know you can fly this thing, whatever. There, there's there's a degree where you push yourself beyond right. what you thought was possible, and that's what's actually kind of very meta yeah. about this movie, is Tom is a teacher. Mm. Tom Cruise has had this, you know, f four decades of being one of the biggest movie stars in the whole world, right. and now is teaching us to do the same. Yeah. And basically saying, throw out the rule book. Let me tell you how it's done. Right. Let me push you beyond the limits so that 
you know what those limits are and that they don't exist and that you can continue to take my legacy and build on it and continue to entertain audiences for decades and decades. He wants that for us. Right. Most movie stars want, it's the, zero, it's the zero sum yeah. mentality. Give, take, right. If you win, I don't win. That's not his mentality. Right. His mentality is, if you win, I win too. If you win, I win. We all win together. And that's such a different mentality. It's such a, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but in Hollywood, it's it's the reason that you're so affected by this movie. Sure, he, sure. Everybody's great in this movie. He wanted us all to win. He was thinking about all of our performances. Right. Yeah. Our, everything in the Jets, and it's just, I don't think anybody gives him enough credit for that movie star thing. When you get to a certain point, you start thinking differently. You start treating people differently. And he's the craziest thing is, again, a guy that I've idolized my whole life. Right. You meet him one time, and you're like, holy shit, that's Tom Cruise. And then immediately you're like, wow, this guy's my buddy. Mm -hmm. Like Immediately you're on the same team. team right. You're at the same eye level. You're talking the same the same game. You know, yeah. it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. The story that moved you from Tom. So that you'll never forget something that he did that's changed you as an actor, but also as a person. Oh, it changed me as an actor, and also as a person. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, he did. He did so much. I know as an actor. Um, well, I can't say as a, as a thing because the one of them is kind of personal. But oh. as 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 an as an actor, I mean, he taught me storytelling in the sense of like, I I, I asked a lot of questions, and I questioned him about something that he did, and I was like, why? Because I had a moment, and I wanted to keep that freaking moment, because I was right. like, this is beautiful, I show my acting abilities. Right, right, right. And I'm like, why you did that, Tom? And he pulled me aside, and he explained to me on why, saying like, okay, if this happens, then this is how you're gonna look, and whatever, whatever, and it, it really blew me away about the selflessness, did I say that right? Yep. And not being selfish. Like, it's not about me or you or you. Yeah, we're gonna look good, we're gonna have our moments, but it's about how the audience is gonna perceive you. So he can look stupid, but he knows the, the, the story that is gonna tell. If I look stupid in this moment, it's not about like, oh, I need to look, you know, the baddest or I can't lose in a fight or something like that. It's like, no, if it's gonna service a story and the audience member, like he's always about the people. You know, it's not about not about the stardom, but it's about the people that he's affecting. And you know it's amazing to hear that from you. You were on set with the man for hours and hours and hours, weeks after weeks after weeks. For years, you had to keep this thing quiet. For you to say that is powerful. Same thing? Yeah, I think that was the, the interesting part is when I had questions about character or impact, likability, if I was taking things too far, he'd be like, that's my, it was asking him questions like that, presenting him with like little things, he'll go, all right, so uh, have you ever seen Rain Man? And I'm like, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I've seen, I've seen Rain Man. It's one of my favorite movies. He's like, all right, so let me tell you, we got in the same argument about Rain Man and about likability and you know how far we can take things. And he goes, you know, on, on a few good men. Do you remember the the final courtroom scene? He's like, there was this thing that Nicholson and I were doing, and I was like, he would just drop nuggets of brilliance where you're like, I'm getting to hear advice on how it applies to this movie. That's again, that's forty decade. I mean, forty decades, forty, 40 years yeah. of of film experience. How it applies to our movie. Yeah, and that education. We got to we got to siphon off of that education every day. Every day. And so it was just things like that in which, um, again, he'd be coaching me on things within a scene. Also, another thing to note, which is what actors don't do, even on scenes in which he's not working that day, we'd see him behind monitor, mm -hmm. and he'd come up, and I'm like, Hey, Tom, are you even working today? Like, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> and and he'd, be, he'd, be he'd, right. he'd be like, Hey, I got this idea for you on this thing. He's that involved yeah. in everybody's thing. He's not waiting for dailies to come in and comment on it. He's there, he's involved. It's just, it's a magical quality and I don't think until I finished the movie did I truly, because you're so afraid you're gonna screw up and like sure. ruin people's favorite movie of all yeah. time that sure. you're just so in your own world trying to just execute and not screw it up that it wasn't until we wrapped and I was like, that's an incredible quality for an actor to care that much. Right? Yeah. It just doesn't happen. He, he is yeah. the most, outside of even acting, like help, helping us, that he's the most generous person sure. I've ever met. Like things that I, I've known he's done for people, I'm like, wow, you know, that you don't have to do. Um, it, it's incredible, and yeah. to be of that magnitude and setting the bar for us and saying like, yo, I want y'all to be the future movie stars. I want to pass this on to the back, yeah. the baton on to y'all. I mean, who does that? My God, there's something to be said about the word legacy. I know we've got to go, but I hope you will take these bottles to the rest of your cast and let them know that when you came to Washington D.C., that there was a fellow actor, fellow creator. We sat with you both, moved by what cinema is supposed to be. 
You guys are part of a tremendous legacy now. Congratulations. Thank you Buckle so much. Buckle up, your careers are about to take <laughs> off. Wow. You, I know you got some things going on. I see you. you I see you've been a little bit busy. So yeah, a little I bit. think you and Tom have like this thing going on. <laughs> so getting points or something. I don't know what it is. But congratulations! You've caught Thank lightning you. in the bottle. You have changed culture. Therefore, you have changed uh, our society for the better with this movie. Thank wow. you. Thank your you. Your so acting, much. your art has made a difference. Thank you. Oh, so thanks, much. guys. Thank really you so much. No, man, really. How Thank you feeling? You you do you good? <laughs> You're right. I'm good. good. Yeah, very I'm good. There. Oh, you want to take a picture with these bottles? Sure, yeah, show me. Appreciate yeah, the yeah, gift, yeah. man. Yeah, no, please. Thank you. I mean, it's one of the things that you know you're aware of, like in our union, at least here, is is how this is. For a while, it was the East Coast Hollywood. Then we took like a four year break, and now we're getting back to being like in production and films and movies around here. So it's just important to me that when I come to talk to you guys and you take the time to do this, that you know so that somebody in your side. union on the other side yeah. says thank you. You want to go on this side? Either or, whatever y'all want.